there are few coins and tokens that i keep getting asked frequently on should i buy it should i invest in it and ripple is one of them right almost in all my classes somebody asks me uh should i invest in ripple and this video is for all of you who probably have that question on why you should or should not invest in ripple and i'll tell you why i sold off all my ripple and i have no intention of buying any more welcome to the wave crypto club we talk about all things crypto in this episode let's look at ripple in depth so what is ripple to begin with ripple is a cryptocurrency that is trying to increase the speed and reduce the transaction cost of transferring money between financial institutions this could be across borders this could could be within the country whatever they're just trying to make settlement times better they're trying to reduce the cost of transactions and this itself is a humongous market i'll not get into details on what exactly um, you know who are the founders who uh, uh, what exactly have they done so far roadmap etc i'll not really get into all that because i have a very interesting analysis here on pricing ripple and that's what i want to focus on in today's video uh, in addition to answering these three questions now let's look at that right let's look at uh, to begin with let's look at what is what is it that ripple is actually doing uh, in terms of their use cases they have three use cases Right. The first one is cross-border payments, settlement in seconds, not days. Today, cross-border payments happens through something called the SWIFT network. That is the most predominantly used uh, uh, network to transfer money between countries. And it is very slow. It takes a long time. It takes, in fact, in days to uh, make settlements happen. And it's very expensive. It's not suitable for small value transactions. Uh, so you have to almost always go through a financial institution. It becomes a very cumbersome process. There is a lot of problems here. And the transaction volumes are huge to the tune of almost like $6 trillion a day or something like that in uh, on some days. Uh, overall, the market is roughly about $156 trillion a year of transactions that happens uh, across borders. So what is Ripple trying to do? Ripple is trying to do something very simple, right? They want to you know, help you free up working capital. They want to offer lower cost of payments. Uh, they want to enable faster payments and thereby you as a user will be able to expand to new markets. So if you're a small SME, um, you know, a small company selling somewhere in Southeast Asia, you can probably start selling in Europe uh, because they are making fi uh, financials very easy for you. So the sending institution sends it in dollars, uh, let's say in dollars, then that gets converted sort of into Ripple in the Ripple network, goes into the final uh, uh, settlement currency and the receiving institution gets it in that final settlement currency. So Ripple is the token that is going to be used in the network uh, to facilitate this whole transaction. Right, That's where Ripple really comes into place. The more usage of this network, the more demand for Ripple and hence the price of Ripple will go up. What are the other use cases? Well, let's look at them. The second use case um, is that of crypto liquidity. So what is crypto liquidity? A lot of banks, financial institutions, um, even companies, for instance, are today buying crypto. Right? So if you have to, let's say, offer your customers crypto, then it becomes quite difficult because you have to set up this whole infrastructure to enable that. But Ripple, but Ripple wants you to do that very easily. They're going to make that very seamless for you to buy, sell and hold crypto by giving that as a service itself. So that's one way Ripple is trying to um, you know, help you accelerate customer growth, help you get the right pricing because you know pricing could vary if you look at Korean exchanges, they probably have higher prices for Bitcoin left, uh, compared to, let's say, Indian exchanges and so on and so on. So Ripple is trying to really get into that use case where they will connect market makers, exchanges and OTT desks to the Ripple liquidity hub and which in turn connects to you as a business and you will be getting access to all the uh, cryptos that are available. That's one way they are trying to, uh, you know, make crypto accessible to everybody. Then there's a the third use case, right? And this is the real big use case, central bank digital currency. but this is also the use case that I don't think we'll see a lot of adoption. Why? Because monetary policy is like the backbone of the country. The country's monetary policy is extremely sensitive in terms of their national security itself. And most countries will not want to give this away to a third party, especially to a corporation of sorts. So this I don't you know see many countries adopting. In fact, even the examples that Ripple has cited here are of small countries, right? Let me show that to you. If you look at this, Bhutan is one example of uh, you know customers who are interested. Palau is another example of uh, uh, you know of a customer who's interested. And these are extremely small countries, and I don't think you'll see large countries 
or even small geographical countries like singapore but with a large economy getting into something like this because it's a very sensitive subject so this i feel although is a huge market is extremely small in terms of adoption and that is the biggest risk this use case of theirs i see as the biggest possible risk um you can go to the global customer section you'll see a ton of customers so i'll not really get into deep but what i did do is go through uh, the reports and the insights that they uh, present i have linked all this in the description you can go through it but i'll give you an analysis of that in my excel sheet which is uh, probably the more interesting part of it triple publishes a quarterly report you can go through all this to get the information i've can i've linked it in the description as well uh, i have used this data to try and understand where will ripple really go in terms of its price so let's let's look at this should we invest in ripple what could be the value of ripple in the near future let's try and understand that now what are the three demand levers right the three demand levers for ripple is really the cross border payments that we just saw crypto liquidity and the central bank digital currencies right? these are the three big uh, levers that could drive demand for the ripple token itself what is the value of this now cross border payments in uh, 2022 is approximately 156 trillion dollars Right, all figures here are in billions. I'm just mentioning it in trillions. 156 trillion by 2027 expected to go up to oh, well over 200 trillion. Crypto liquidity. Well, I'm just considering the whole crypto market as such. Today it's about 100. Is about 1 trillion. Might go up to 10 trillion by 2027. Central bank digital currencies. I'm considering M2 supply here, which is about 40 trillion today, but you know could go up to about 56 trillion based on the historical growth rates that we have seen. that is the market but that's not really ripple's demand right so where is ripple's demand so ripple's demand could be a smaller fraction of this big chunk right and now i have considered based on what ripple itself has reported i guess in one of their um, uh, quarterly reports about 2 billion dollars in cross border payments that they did in 2022 and i've taken a 130% uh, growth rate because that is what they have mentioned in one of their reports um consistently up to 2027 and that could go up to well, well about 7.4 billion dollars in cross border payments facilitated through ripple crypto liquidity i think this is going to be very small you know uh, I, they had about 88 million at the end of 88 million ripple at the end of uh, 2021 uh, which was used for this kind of a purpose so roughly about a 100 million uh, you know that could go up to maybe about 300 million may, maybe a billion dollars i don't know you know depending on how quickly this could grow but the real big chunk is the central bank digital currencies even if the smallest countries were to adopt this uh, you know that could let's say i am taking 1% or 0.1% of the entire m2 supply that's about 40 billion right which could rise to up to about 56 billion and but this is high risk right maybe not many countries would want to do this so this is high risk i see adoption as a very high risk here these two are fine you know they are in the green we see we can see adoption so the total demand for ripple really roughly is about 42 billion to maybe going up to 64 billion by 2027 what is circulating supply of ripple well if you go down to mesari and look at the supply schedule you will see that although ripple has a capped supply it is you know continuously increasing till about 2027 when it will taper off right so there are totally about about 100 billion uh, worth of ripple in existence so it is going to continuously increase in supply in the next few years and this is the biggest risk as of now for you as an investor so the circulating supply it will go up from somewhere around 51 billion in 2022 to about 100 billion in 2027 in the next 5 years you will see the number of ripple circulating will almost double which means your price if you just hold on to that ripple given nothing else changes might just keep dropping right so what is the valuation of ripple i've just added up I've just considered the total demand for Ripple, divided that by the circulating supply, um, and divided by 1.5 because that's called the velocity of circulation. That's pretty much the number for most currencies. So if you divide it by this, you will get roughly about 0.55 dollars as the price of Ripple. Uh, you know, to probably towards the end of 2022, if nothing goes wrong. Right? What's the price of Ripple today? That's about 0.34 uh, dollars. So it could go up to about 0.55 dollars, but will it go up to $1 not really right look at this the amount of ripple is continuously increasing though the demand for ripple is also increasing the price will just keep dropping and it might hover around 0.4 0.5 and i don't think it will change pretty much from there in fact this is the big chunk right central bank digital currency is the real big demand demand driver and if i were to remove that the price of ripple would drop to less than 10 cents 
and it's not going to change anywhere beyond that they're heavily hinging on that one particular demand and i think that is the biggest risk in investing in ripple this is one reason why i exited from ripple when it touched about a dollar and i was out that's it i was like you know i decided uh, not to get into ripple again because i don't see too much of a growth in this even if it does maybe because of emotional reasons the market itself growing it might go up but intrinsically there is no value for ripple beyond this because the demand drivers that they currently have is extremely difficult there are more and more cryptocurrencies coming in which will operate in the very same space and if you consider the intense competition that will come in i don't think ripple has any chance in this an elaborate market um, structure that exists in the world and it's going to be very difficult for ripple to move anywhere from this price band of 0.4 to 0.5 dollars so if you're an investor please keep these things in mind before you invest um uh, i also went and checked out basrank.io uh, the ratings given by most people are pretty average nothing great right all of them around 60 um into the block does not have any information about uh, ripple uh because ripple is extremely concentrated right they have something they have a different consensus method called snl and it's too damn concentrated and i am not going to invest in anything that is too damn concentrated i would rather f- invest in something that is properly decentralized than go into something like ripple hence even though ripple today is about 90% down from its all time high i don't see it going anywhere close to that because the all time high itself was about 4 years ago and now as you saw in the supply schedule the number of coins in circulation will just go up in the next 5 years doesn't make it a great investment at all so i'm completely out on ripple all the information that i showed you was linked in the description please go through it before you make your investment uh, having said that you know do your own research if you like this video please like the video uh, subscribe to the channel and tell your friends about it welcome to the wave crypto club